So Donald Trump has done real damage to our national security, and now he sits back in his second-rate resort in Florida and refuses to do anything to help the government mitigate that damage. And we let him. Let's talk about that, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So Donald Trump has done untold damage to our national security, and now he's content to just sit back and watch burn the fire he set. Here's the new reporting from the New York Times. Headline, FBI found 48 empty folders that had contained classified documents at Trump's home. And that article begins, the FBI's search of former President Donald J. Trump's Florida club and residence last month turned up 48 empty folders marked as containing classified information, a newly disclosed court filing shows, raising the question of whether the government had fully recovered the documents or any remain missing. Along with the empty folders with classified markings, the FBI discovered 40 more empty folders that said they contained sensitive documents the user should return to staff secretary slash military aid, according to the inventory. It also said that agents found seven documents marked as top secret in Mr. Trump's office and 11 more in a storage room. And now our intelligence officers and agencies are scrambling trying to assess how much damage Donald Trump has done to our national security. We see headline after headline, like this from NBC, Intel officials will assess risk to national security from documents found at Trump's Mar-a-Lago. And this from NPR, materials taken from Mar-a-Lago will be assessed for possible national security risks. So now the intel community is working overtime trying to figure out who may now know about some of our nation's most closely held national security secrets. They're trying to figure out things like, with respect to the top secret documents Donald Trump stole from the White House and unlawfully concealed at Mar-a-Lago, who did Donald Trump show these documents to? Who did Donald Trump let take pictures of these documents? Who did Donald Trump let make copies of these documents? Regarding the missing classified documents, who did Donald Trump give them to? Or who did Donald Trump sell them to? You know what, friends? There is somebody who knows the answer to all of these questions. Donald Trump. And yet, our law enforcement and intelligence communities continue to wear kid gloves, seemingly unwilling to confront Donald Trump. He is sitting there with all of this information about how he compromised our national security, and nobody's even asking him. You know what our federal government should be doing in my estimation? First, they should demand a sit-down with Donald Trump in a very public way. Mr. Former President, we need you to come in and tell us who you may have shown these documents to, who had access to them, who did you give them to with respect to all of the empty folders, both classified and military, because you know, former President Trump, that all of this may very well have compromised our national security. You may be putting assets in other countries in danger, and you may be endangering us here at home. We need to sit down with you, and you need to download all of this information. Might that be a futile exercise? You think there's any chance Donald Trump is going to come in voluntarily and help us mitigate the damage to our national security, the damage he did? Maybe not. 
Let him make that decision and let him live with the consequences of it. But for gosh sakes, ask him to sit down and provide answers to these questions, you know, to try to protect our national security. The next step incrementally is to subpoena him for this information. Yes, there are lots of sticky legal issues surrounding subpoenaing, not a former president, but a target of a criminal investigation, which he undoubtedly is. That presents challenges. It raises the possible prospect of immunity. All of that we will leave for another day. But let's get the ball rolling on at least some effort to extract this information from Donald Trump. Subpoena him. If he defies the subpoena, lock him up for contempt. If he complies with the subpoena and pleads his Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination, which one, he has, and two, any competent lawyer would advise him to do, invoke his Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination, again, let him live with the consequences of that. The consequences that may very well include a continued danger to our national security and to human assets. But let's go to option number three, because this, frankly, is the leading candidate in my book. Donald Trump has committed multiple crimes against the United States, against we the people. The search warrant that the judge authorized that gave the FBI the ability to go to Mar-a-Lago, search Mar-a-Lago for evidence of crime, and seize the evidence of crime they found at Mar-a-Lago, including in Donald Trump's office, including in Donald Trump's desk. The warrant that the judge authorized found probable cause to believe Donald Trump committed three crimes, a documents crime, an obstruction of justice crime, and a crime under the Espionage Act. It found probable cause to believe those three crimes had been committed and that there would be evidence of those crimes located on the property of Mar-a-Lago. If Donald Trump was any other human being on the planet after what they found, even just in his office, he would have been promptly arrested he would have been Mirandized. Yes, Miranda is still a thing, even after that poor Supreme Court decision that cut back on a suspect's right to bring a civil rights case against police officers for violating his or her Miranda rights. Miranda is still a thing. Arrest Donald Trump, Mirandize him. If he waives his Miranda rights, you interrogate him long and hard, day and night, lawfully, ethically, but to extract from him all of the information that can now help protect our national security and mitigate the damage Donald Trump has done to our national security. And the fact that our federal government will not even remove the kid gloves, the fact that they will let Donald Trump retain all of the information he has about how he damaged our national security rather than trying to lawfully extract it from him is just flat out wrong. So yes, instead of letting Donald Trump continue to play golf, hold hate rallies, spew lies, propaganda, disinformation into the public square, lying to his supporters, continuing to recruit a new batch of insurrectionists, instead of letting him attend dinner parties and fundraisers. He should be held accountable right now for his crimes. We should take the kid gloves off. We should go after him aggressively but lawfully and ethically to extract from him the information he has about how he's damaged our national security and how we can go about mitigating that damage. Failing to do those things 
and leaving Donald Trump out there to continue to damage our nation and our national security, in my opinion, is a grave mistake. You know, that does not represent fighting the monster. It represents feeding the monster. And we have been feeding the monster that is Donald Trump for so long, and it has brought us to this moment in time. It's time for accountability because justice matters. It matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.